So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny All material things could mean less to me Only thing I ever could need Alright guys, just to follow up to my last video Wanted to do a more of an in-depth in uh, overview And um, kind of just explain some of the options I chose on my my truck And uh Kind of give a little some advice if somebody's looking for it or um, just kind of some of the things that I learned uh, in this whole ordering and buying process. I did order this uh, from a dealership, Dave Dennis Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Beaver Creek, Ohio. Um, they were really helpful and I really appreciate everything they did help me with and um, overall I love the truck. So it's a, a 2017 Ram 3500 Cummins. And I did get to make a cab, uh, and it's a, it is a Laramie Sport Appearance Package. So it has a, a paint to match bumpers, grill, it has the blacked out uh, projector housings, blacked out badges and wheels, and uh, I think it makes the truck look pretty sharp. So just besides uh, besides the Sport Appearance Package. Uh, Laramie's do come standard with the 8.4 Uconnect screen and also this infotainment center on your dash. I'll put the key in here. And then I also ordered it. One reason I did order it is because I chose the G56 transmission. Uh, I kind of debated back and forth between the G56 and the Ison, uh, but overall, you just could I couldn't turn down a manual in this truck, uh, and so far I love it. I've got just over 1,400 miles on it, and it's been about 15 days, about just over two weeks. Uh, today's the, what is today? Today's the April 2nd, and I received it on March 18th, so just over two weeks I've had it. So I ordered it with the Sport Appearance Package, ordered it with the G56 transmission, uh, and down here you have the option to get the auxiliary buttons, um, but I chose just to stick with these uh, standard heated vented and heated steering wheel buttons. Um, they didn't really, at, at this time I don't have any huge plans for auxiliary buttons and I'm fine with those so six you get a special center console uh, split split bench seat uh, that they make just for the G56 here so it is shorter than the other auto automatic um, fold down seats the other ones have the cup holders in them this one's a little shorter so the uh, so when you're in fourth or sixth gear you won't have uh, any issues so the seat does flip up and it is pretty nice um, inside the console there's plenty of room and one thing I didn't know in there you have your uh, auxiliary hookup and your USB connection and also another 12 volt plug uh, I knew those came in the automatics and in the uh, in the other center consoles but I didn't know if it would come in this one so it was nice to, nice to know that so um, and one thing that at the time, I didn't know if it would come with or not. Is uh, push button start. As I was saying, um, I did do a lot of research when, before I ordered this, and I knew there'd be some things that I would sacrifice getting a manual, and uh, I wasn't sure if push button start would be one of them or not, and it was, and it turns out not to be too big a deal. Um, but I did think I was going to get the keyless entry uh, with the proximity keys, and 
that's one thing I didn't get and I am a little disappointed about and that's why I kind of wanted to make this video so people that are thinking about getting uh, either a, man, a G56 or a Mega Cab and realize there are some things that you won't get because of those options and the proximity key be able to get in into the truck uh, with just the key in your pocket uh, that what doesn't happen um, so and I did and one thing I did know I wasn't going to be able to get is remote start and obviously uh, you, the RAM didn't want to have that liability to put remote start on a manual transmission and if you did have the truck in gear uh, whether or not they could have made a some kind of neutral safety switch or something on it that it must not have been something they wanted to chance so that wasn't a huge deal to me I do live in Ohio and it's a little colder here but I it's not too big a deal. Um, so we'll go check out the back seat of the Mega Cab here. Uh, one thing I did not know I wouldn't get in the Mega Cab is the Ram Box cargo under your floor floor mats here. Uh, you can't get those in a Mega Cab, um, which kind of sucks because that's some nice added storage. Um, I did get the Ram Factory floor mats which seem to be pretty nice at least in the back here uh, I might at some point get some uh, either Husky liners or weather text for the front to give a little bit more coverage but uh, these will do good for now um, so obviously I knew uh, you'd have some storage back here behind your seats but when you get the Laramie with the Alpine premium sound system pretty much all you have is this storage area, which I have some toe straps and then the uh, hitch adapter uh, back here, pretty much the only storage you get is behind the seat itself, which uh, is pretty adequate. Uh, you have a good, probably almost 12 inches behind the seat to put stuff, um, but when you get that whole box right there has the amp and sub in it um, for the Alpine sound system, so kind of lose some of your some of that storage that uh, they advertise in here but and another thing I didn't realize at all I wasn't going to get until I actually picked the truck up is the Hermes are standard with heated rear seats but in a G56 you can't get re heated rear seats and that's because in this special center console uh, they, they never made a place to put the buttons for it and they just didn't put it in here so uh, that was kind of disappointing not that I carry people back here a lot but I would have been nice to have heated rear seats as just that luxury uh, but again I'll deal it's still I'm still not disappointed with what I chose but it's definitely something that I'll know next time and I kind of want other people to uh, know because it's not something that the dealership might give you the information on or, or might not know and uh, I didn't see it on other forms at least not all this stuff some of it I did but not all of it so just washed her today so gave her a quick wash it's supposed to rain this week I just wanted to get some of the crud off here they didn't do a super good job but wanted to shine it up a little bit for this video just so you guys can see this is uh it is 4x4 four four, and this is uh, the Delmonico red paint color which uh, I absolutely love so it looks really good in any light especially in the sun but yeah let's get pan out a little bit here so you can see the whole thing and uh, if, if there's any questions or if there's any suggestions on things I can show or or something that you might want to know or anything like that just let me know in the comments and I'd be glad to make a video on it so just on what's coming up in the future here uh, I don't know how quickly I'll be able to do some of this stuff I'd like to sooner rather than later um, I did put LED headlights in and those ended up being pretty good I might make a review on those here in the next coming days or so um, and then that stubby antenna has been working out really well so I'm gonna work on getting some Morimoto XB fog lights in here to match my headlights so I don't have LEDs in my headlights and halogen bulbs in my fog lights. I definitely don't like the look of that. So, um, 
other than that I'm, I'm gonna try and get some uh, amp power steps running boards for it because it's harder for some of the people to get in and out of here and my girlfriend always finds a way to roll straight down on the seat and that's gonna drive me nuts and I don't want her wearing my seat out so I'm gonna have to find a solution and I think amp power steps are gonna be that so uh, that'll come up that'll probably be one of the next things I do just for that simple fact is I want to maintain those nice leather seats in there and I don't want them wearing out prematurely because just getting in and out so and after that I, I'd like to get a leveling kit I don't want to just get spacers so I was thinking of uh, getting the springs and shocks kit um, most likely from Thurin or Truin or however you say that uh, his brand I know they're good quality and definitely enhanced stock ride height and ride quality so that'll probably be another another mod coming up soon um, so leveling kit and power running boards really are probably the first two things I'm going to do here um, and then wheels and tires are will come along down the road uh, probably in the next within the next year at least uh, so I'm not going to do anything crazy to this truck but I, I'd like to change some of the things and enhance the look and um, just just uh, make it look a little bit better but overall I think it's a great looking truck and there's not a whole lot that I'd change on it and uh, if I had to do it again I'd probably order the same truck so I'm extremely happy with it and uh, there's more to come I appreciate you watching